6 tonight, bills that were inspired by a local victim of the Boston Marathon bombings are now law. Newport's Heather Abbott ran into a problem following the 2013 attack. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell is live at the State House with more details on what these new laws mean to Abbott. Two bills were signed into law today. One expands coverage for Rhode Islanders affected by terrorist attacks, and the other increases compensation. The governor calls them modest modifications that will change lives. None of it is a lot of money. It's $1,000, $2,000 here or there, but it makes a huge difference in the lives of these people. Governor Gina Raimondo says the two bills she signed today strengthen the Crime Victims Compensation Fund. The first clears up the confusion on helping those affected by terrorist attacks. Before the law was signed, Rhode Islanders could only access money if the attack was in Rhode Island or overseas. Now it covers attacks in other U.S. states, something Newport's Heather Abbott had a workaround after the Boston Marathon bombings. It was fabulous to know that the ambiguities in the law had been addressed and to know that if there was another victim of terrorism here in Rhode Island that they wouldn't have to kind of deal with all the back and forth that I had to. The second bill increases how much money someone can collect if they're a victim. You can now receive $10,000 for burial expenses and $5,000 for relocation costs. We will cover rent, we will cover hotel room stays, we will cover deposit checks. And their treasurer says that the relocation costs are important for victims of domestic violence who feel they cannot leave a relationship for financial reasons. We're live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom. Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.